Hey everyone, HP Bain here. It's been a while since I've updated you via YouTube. It seemed like a good time to do that with Halloween coming up. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown on where things have been going in the last few months. Now I'm really fascinated by the Phantom Hitchhiker mythology. You see this quite often on a lot of uh, kind of spooky shows and I, I kind of wanted to do a take on that. So this story focuses on the ghost of a woman who haunts a road that leads to a ghost town that's not far from the city and naturally Des and Sully end up getting themselves into more trouble trying to solve that particular mystery. It also furthers the um, storyline, the, un the undercurrent that runs beneath the uh, entire series. I, as always, suggest that if you haven't read the first books in the series, so Black Candle, Harbinger, The Dual Tree, and Crawl, maybe go ahead and do those before you go on to Hollow Road. It's just you'll get more out of it, even though it's a complete storyline in a sense there is that undercurrent that I always feel is kind of best read in order just to make sure that you're catching all of the little nuances there. So Hollow Road is available on Amazon so please head over there if you want to have a look. New release you guys coming up on Halloween there's another book coming out this will be book six in the series it will be entitled Second Son. It's actually available now on pre-order on Amazon. So if you want to check that out, um, that would be great. Please go ahead and order it. And then when it drops on Halloween, it's all yours. It's uh, likely going to be available in paperback format prior to that, if that's your thing. And uh, down the road, uh, always down the road, I'm hoping uh, it will also be in audiobook format. So Second Son really pushes um, the the mythology behind the series forward um, it uh, contains a couple of elements a couple of the main characters at the start are having some issues between them so that's got to be resolved it also contains a pretty difficult situation for sully as it sees him confronting one of his most dangerous enemies if you've read the series you know that uh, dr gerhardt has been involved in um, some experiments uh, at his uh, the, the Lockwood Psychiatric Hospital that he is a uh, head psychiatrist at and um, Sully was essentially confined and tortured there over the course of um, some time so this is this is going to be somewhat of a catharsis for Sully he has to face that past in order to move ahead um, this becomes necessary because um, the central mystery within this series actually focuses on Gerhardt himself. And um, as you might recall, his, um, he does have a missing child. So that becomes the central mystery within this book. And um, you'll guess have to read to find out what that means and, and why the guys are so intent on getting to the bottom of that. Second Son is available on pre-order on Amazon at this point, so if you're interested, just head on over there, check it out, and then once it drops on Halloween, it's all yours. Audiobooks. Now, I've been really excited about this development. I've been working with a fantastic narrator by the name of John Downey. He's already voiced Black Candle that is now available through Amazon, uh, Audible, iTunes. Um, it's a pretty cool sounding thing. It's really quite interesting to hear your own words um, actually read back at you. I really love the way he does the voices of Des and Sully especially. And I've had some pretty good feedback on it so far. So if you want to check that out, scoot over to Amazon or Audible or iTunes, give that a look. He's also voiced Harbinger. That should be coming out in the next few days, I would hope. And um, so that's, uh, that's another great sounding book. Um, he is now actually voicing The Dual Tree, so that will be the next one coming out. I know I've been listening to a lot more audiobooks lately, and I really love the way that it really brings a story to life. It's, it's uh, also helps break up really long car drives, so that's great. Um, but 
yeah, it's it's um, just a lot of fun. It's almost like kind of being at a movie, a little movie going on in your head in a way. So definitely pop over to Amazon, Audible, iTunes. Check those out if you're into audiobooks. So where does this all lead? Because the next book, which will be book seven, is actually the last book in the series. So um, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do at that point. I was sort of debating, you know, do I go on with, with writing about these guys? Do I move on to something else? I mean, I do have a few other ideas um, that I'm working on. Um, but I have had a fair bit of interest in continuing with these characters and honestly I kind of was sad about the idea of letting them go. So what I've decided to do is write a series of books that will be entitled The um, Braddock and Gray Case Files. So what these will be are standalone mysteries so there won't be this kind of larger undercurrent that you get in the Sullivan Gray series, uh, something that carries through in that same way, I think, from book to book. The way I'm envisioning it is you'll be able to just pick up each book and just read it and it won't matter which one you do first. So um, that's the plan at this point. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Would you like to see more Des and Sully? Let me know. So I wanted to take a moment again just to say a huge thanks to everybody who's been supporting me, supporting the series. It's been an absolute blast. I actually don't mind getting up at five in the morning to write these books every day before work. So grateful to everybody who has picked these books up, everybody who has commented um, on Facebook or through email or, or in some other way. I, it means so much to me. and. I know I've said this before, but this really is a dream come true for me. I've wanted to write my whole life. I've always wanted to be able to sort of hold up a book and, and say, my, this is mine. <laughs> and the fact that I can do that is because of you. So thank you so much. Anyway, I think uh, that gives you a bit of an update as to where I'm at. So thanks for watching and bye for now.